Hello there, and welcome to another episode of GNU Games. On this second episode of our series on free and open source games, we will be focusing on the voxel title known as Mind Test. Fans of the wildly popular game Minecraft might enjoy this game. Much like Minecraft, you are able to play alone or with your friends. You can either host your own server or join another players, or you can play completely on your own building in your own world. Mine test is completely free of charge and able to be played on a wide variety of operating systems. You can download the game on almost all GNU slash Linux distributions. You can also play it on Windows, Mac OS, and Android. If you're playing on Android, you can download it from the Google Play Store, or you can grab the APK file directly from mindtest.net. If you're playing on a Debian or Ubuntu-based Linux distribution, you can grab it easily in your terminal with the command sudo apt install mine test. On Arch-based distributions, simply use the command sudo pacman s mine test. Once you have it downloaded and installed, you're good to go. This is going to be the first part in a two-part look of Mind Test. Like Minecraft, there are a load of things you can do in Mind Test. You can build things, you can explore the world, you can play either survival or creative mode. In this look, we are going to be playing in creative mode. We're simply going to find a good looking place to build and build something simple on it. This will show you a bit about how the building process and inventory selection screens work. You all get to see some of the basics of mine test. We're going to fly around the map and try to find a nice snowy spot that we can build a house upon. That will be it for the first installment of our look at mine test. On the second installment, we will look more at inventory items and explore various areas around the map. That one will be a much longer video. For this one, we want to keep it short and simple to get you acquainted with Mind Test. Something interesting about Mind Test over Minecraft is how extensible it is. If you know the programming language Lua, you can write your own modifications to the game and even build your own games on top of it. In this regard, Mind Test is more than just another crafting game. It is also a game engine in which developers can build upon. As you can see, Mind Test offers you an expansive world that you can build on. You can fly all over the map to find somewhere suitable for whatever you would like to build. There are sandy beaches overlooking the oceans, wooded, thick forest areas, caverns, deserts, snowy plains, and more. Just like you can with Minecraft, you can build whatever your mind can think of. You can build skyscraping towers, ancient castles, or simple villages. You can choose to build it up in creative or take it up a notch in survival. You might have noticed on the mine test home screen we had a checkbox option allowing us to host a server. This is how we could play online with friends. You could choose to host a server over your local network where friends with their computers or phones connected to your router could all play together. You could also host a server over the internet, allowing you to play with friends and family from around the world. Now that you've seen a bit of the overworld, we can find that nice and snowy spot to build our small house. It might take a moment, as these maps are huge. We're flying over dense forest land and rocky hilltops. It looks like we're beginning to get into more of a snowy landscape now. We should be able to find a nice spot to start building our little house. We will go with brick and cobblestone for this house. 
We just want it to be something nice and simple. We're not trying to build anything huge and monolithic today. We'll set up a nice little house with some room for storage, a bed, and some windows to look out of. We might even build a little shed for extra storage of items if we would like. When we get into the second part of our mind test look, we will get even more into it. You can build pretty expansive systems of railroads and things like that in these sorts of games. There is endless room for imagination and fun. I like to hang the torches in the corners of the houses. This way, we have some light to see what we're doing when the sun begins to go down. I remember in Minecraft on the Xbox, we built, and are continuing to build, a world that is interconnected with rail lines. There are huge cities and even an enormous castle on this world. I'll have to take some footage of it someday. You can do the exact same things in mine test. I've actually thought about setting up a mine test server and inviting anyone who wants to join in and help build the world to take part and have a good time. If you're interested in something like that, please let me know in the comments. I will be happy to set it up and build cool things with anyone who wants to participate and talk free and open source software or anything else. We might even do a live stream where we hang out and play mine test together. Again, let me know if this is something you might be interested in. Live streaming would have to wait until I can get a decent microphone, which is the reason I am currently using the computerized voice.
Here is our finished little house. It is nice and simple. It has a bed for us to sleep in and storage room for us to keep items in. We can go ahead and set up a small sort of shed where we can have some extra storage space for even more items. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can simply be made out of wood. It'll be nice and small. Just enough room for us to walk in and open up one or two storage chests. It never hurts to have plenty of room to keep your items, especially if you choose to take your map to survival mode. Once we're done building this small shed, we will be ready to begin wrapping up this first peak at mine test. In a moment, we will go over what we are going to cover in the next video. With our storage shed and small home complete, this will just about cover it for this edition of GNU Games. Mine Test is a fun game where you can let your imagination run wild. There are no objectives to complete, no quests to do. Simply choose the tool you need from your inventory and build whatever you would like. This game is fun alone, but even more fun with friends. If you want to have a good time simply messing around with no particular mission in mind, I would recommend spinning up a mind test server of your own. You can also join some open ones, there are open servers quite frequently that allow anyone to join. Soon, I might be joining the ranks of those running public mind test servers, I think it could be fun to allow the community to build a world together and see what we can accomplish as we build. Well, that's about it this for this time, on the next episode of GNU Games, we are going to be taking a look at Free Doom Phase 1, a Doom clone split into two parts. Thanks for continuing to check out the GNU Games series, if you would like to contribute to this channel, Consider throwing me some LBC on library or going to https ravendust.xyz to see how you can donate. Thanks again, and see you next time.